Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you again. This is the If I Could Only Choose 5 uh, tag video. I was tagged, at least the ones I know, by CB Shaves uh, and Sig Solo. I was tagged by those two gents, so thank you very much for the tag, gents. Um, I don't know if anyone else has tagged me. No one's contacted me, so if anyone else has, I do apologise. Right, this is a, a tag video that was started by IMCDB, um, and it's if I could only choose five, five shaving artisans for the rest of your life based on five uh, choices, based on scent, selection, sentiment, value, and performance. Um, quite a difficult challenge. I've got quite a lot of soaps, different brands and stuff like that. Some I haven't tried uh, that are in other people's lists. There's lots of people who've done this list. But the first one is the uh, selection based on scent. Uh, so if I could only choose this brand for the rest of my life based on scents, it would be PAA. Um, yeah, they have lots and lots of good scents, different scents. Um, Doug comes out with some scents, Doug and Fran. Uh, this one is CAD, which is a barbershop scent. Um, yeah, just, just, a, just a nice selection of scents. And most of them are very different. Some of them are a, a bit more out there, can, they, they, they do lots of different ones. Um, so that would be my selection on scent uh, from this artisan, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Right, selection. Uh, this is a choice based on variety. Uh, only one winner here for me. They have a ton of scents. Sterling. Sterling Soap Company in the States. You can get this in the UK from Shaving Time. Uh, and this is Sharp Breast Man. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots and lots of different scents from Stirling. Uh, a lot of ones that they base on colognes. This is based on uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed. But yeah, they just have lots of scents. Um, so that would be my choice. Number two for selection. Uh, choice based on variety would be Stirling. Sentiment. Uh, this is a, a personal connection to the brand. Um, I had to think about this. There's quite a few. Um, some companies that have kind of became almost friends with the artisans just from talking to them online, stuff like that. But uh, this one kind of stood out for me um, as being the, the choice for me for uh, sentiment with a personal connection to the brand. I was one of the original testers for this artisan. Uh, it's a UK artisan and it's Phoenix and Bow. Uh, there it is there. This one is called Oberon. Uh, this was a, a limited edition and I won the competition. They wanted uh, a soap to be named, kind of to based on summer and the UK and stuff like that. Uh, and this is the number one tub. It says number one and it's signed there by Kerry Burroughs. And that was in 2017, 11th of June 2017. So he signed it. So this is the number one, the first one that came out of... Uh, all the batches and stuff like that. Yeah, I've followed um, Kerry and Sarah. Kerry does the soap and Sarah does the labels. Phoenix and Bo. Uh, yeah, as I say, I was one of the original testers. There was a few of us um, and we gave Kerry feedback, stuff like that, and he's still going. This is a nice scent. Uh, it's a summery scent. I think this was a limited edition, so I don't, th I don't think you can get this one anymore, but the brand, definitely Phoenix and Bo for sentiment. Um, yeah, they're still going. Phoenix and Bow, some nice scents there as well, but that's the, the personal connection to that brand. Just uh, kind of from day one, I've uh, followed them and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's all good. So that's my choice for personal sentiment or personal connection sentiment. Number four is value. Uh, so this is a, an artisan based on value. I probably could have chose Sterling. I probably could have chose... Uh, PAA, but I chose this particular brand. I don't have many of their soaps, maybe one or two, but I had a look online and I think you can get these tubs for $15 for six ounces of soap. Uh, and that's Soap Commander. Yeah, this one is uh, love. This is a true rose scented. Beautiful. Yeah, look at the size of these tubs compared to like uh, the Sterling one. 
They're still you get 5.8 ounces of soap. This one you get six, but the tubs are massive because it, they, they kind of make them big just to let you load your brush, stuff like that. But six ounces of soap for $15. They're, they're not widely available in the UK, which is a shame. But um, yeah, I just think that's fantastic value. They have a good choice of uh, selection of scents and stuff as well, but great value for, for uh, six ounces of soap for $15 which is about, I think that's about £13. So amazing, amazing value. So that's my choice based on value. Soap Commander. Uh, the next one, number five, is performance. This was the most difficult choice for me. Some of the artisans now putting out soaps are, that are just fantastic. Super slick, great creamy lathers, easy to lather, um, yeah, it was really difficult to choose. But for me, I thought, right, let, let's take things into consideration. Uh, and this company, or this artisan, came out top for me uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, based on performance. Uh, Southern Witchcrafts. Yeah, this is a, they're, they're fairly new in the artisan shaving soap world. But the thing about this is, I chose this because anyone can use it. It's a, it's a vegan soap. Um, so there's no tallow there. Uh, some people don't like using tallow soaps for ethical reasons or whatever it is. But uh, this, Southern Witchcrafts are uh, vegan based soaps. So anyone can use them. And the performance on them is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, some other soaps, some other artisans have tallow so everyone won't be able to use them but these southern witchcrafts uh, fantastic performance one of the best performing soaps out there actually whether it be it some people say oh, I prefer a tallow soap because it's uh, more slick and stuff like that yeah southern witchcrafts <laughs> they'll do the job for you right so that's my uh, top five shaving artisans for the rest of my life uh, there probably will be another five next year, newer ones that come out. So uh, based on scent was PAA, selection based on the choice of selection, Sterling, uh, sentiment, a personal connection to the brand was uh, Phoenix and Bow. Yeah, there they are there, I'll put their name up there, Phoenix and Bow. Uh, value, definitely Soap Commander. Uh, and performance was Southern Witchcrafts. So that's my top five. Thank you for the tag. Now I'm supposed to tag people um, and I will tag some people because I think it's good that um, everyone should do these if you're tagged. Uh, some people don't like getting tagged. I don't know. Maybe they're just lazy that they don't want to do the video, but uh, I think it's uh, just polite if you're tagged to, to take time to do it. Uh, so the one, well, I'll tag three people. I had a look through some YouTube uh, shaving channels. There's lots and lots of shaving channels out there now, but I'm going to choose three maybe lesser known ones um, that some people should check out. I had a look at some of their videos. Very good. So the first one I'm going to tag is Atlas Shaving. So Atlas Shaving, uh, you're tagged. I'll tell Atlas Shaving in uh, one of the comments of his videos. The next one I'm going to tag is the OK Shaver. Uh, that's Patrick. Uh, OK IE, uh, OK Shaver, and you're tagged. And the next one, the last one I'm going to tag is HD Shaves. So I'll put links for all their, their channels in the description of this video. Thank you to Chris for tagging me, and uh, thanks to IMCDB for tagging me too. He's actually tagged me in another video, but um, that might take <laughs> a little bit longer to put together so um, to, to choose and stuff like that, but uh, that should be good. But um, yeah, so that's my, if I could only choose five uh, shaving artisans for the rest of my life. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.